April goals for 2023. Goal number one, time with Ja. Trying to figure out a weekend activity that's that her energy levels and interest can encompass. Uh, it's it's going to be a challenge. Um, and I'm going to have to really devote some time to thinking about that. And that makes it a good goal. Number two, walking daily with uh, the dogs and Jackie. Number three, early to bed, early to rise. Number four, which especially weekends, because this is my bad, bad week. The weekends, I have a tendency to suddenly fall into this hole where I'm I'm watching like short videos on YouTube to, for like an hour late at night. And it really fucks me up. And it's like, this is the time, especially the week, the weekends are supposed to be recharging. But somehow I've got this illusion of, oh, I'm not doing anything tomorrow because I'm not at work. It's like, no, get to sleep so you can do all the stuff you want to get done on the weekend. So yeah, especially a focus on the weekends. Number four, late night snack. Try and keep myself to a rice cake, some pumpkin seeds, two tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, uh, one chocolate bar, one glass of milk. That is a light night snack for me at this point. It's sad, but true. Uh, number five, the phone and earbud hygiene. Continue with my B mark on the calendar. Uh, I'm working well, get to work on time, biking away at 2.30, so 1.55, so to, to start packing up to 1.55 p.m. alarm to kind of get up and get going. Number seven, daily physio exercises. The uh, the uh, the F and E marks and the T and E marks, that's physio and vocal exercises. Number eight, daily to-do check-in, uh, getting complete completed in the morning. There's a TD mark on the calendar. Haven't done it for today, but Today is kind of a weird day, but I will do that next. I will try and do that next. Number nine, uh, do um, is my booktube channel. Try and get that gay get a book rise and fall review. I think it's going to be a rise and fall of the Third Reich review, which will probably just be for myself. That's fine, but I'll just maybe just try and bang one out tomorrow. Just turn on the camera and talk about talk about my experience of the book. I'm not going to have to. I'm not going to prepare a ton because. Why does anyone need to hear me on, on the rise and fall of the Third Reich? Um, B, trying to continue to stay off of BookTube. Mostly keep on PR5147, which has been pretty easy. Continue to make review videos. Uh, like, you know, I'll be making one about three men in a, in a boat, to say nothing of the dog. Uh, any audiobooks. But yeah, just keep on doing reviews. And every once in a while, I might get a keeper. Um... Make narrow subject videos on things. And actually, I think I just did make one accidentally. I made one of a little rant, rant I had about um, Orlando Furioso. And I will, I, will potentially, I will potentially edit that and post that as a, just a video on itself. Weirdly, I decided to do it on a sideways, a sideways, not sideways, vertical. Vertical versus horizontal film. Like this is vertical but it's a horizontal film just yeah just something to do and I started ranting about it because it's like the first time I filmed it it didn't work so I did it again and yeah okay I'll do that so and I think this is going to be for my booktube channel I'm just going to say like fuck it just do stuff just do a video a week about anything and try not to th think too hard about it strangely enough I think I think I would have I'll have better success and be happier about uh, booktube if I just do that just kind of relax and just make videos uh, and not get so tight so tight and so focused I want everything to be so perfect and by making everything perfect I'm vanishing off of booktube um, and which is sad because I do enjoy the space and if I if I can if I found a place where I'm kind of a bit distanced from it it might actually be if I can then relax and just make videos it might actually work for me uh, number 10 is read Duffel Puff and uh, uh, to kind of assess it, uh, doing a video check-in uh, on it by, I think I've got April the 9th down. We'll see. I've been, I think I'm about halfway through reading it because I, I just have a D on my calendar here and I've just been marking marking the D down each day. I like, I, I do, I read two sections. I read a Peter section. I read a, a Miss Duffel Puff section each each time and I've been kind of enjoying reading my own work which is bizarre I think because I'm not I'm just reading it I'm not like oh I have to stop and edit it and stuff like that it's like it's actually been pretty enjoyable which is weird for me I, this might be 
this might I think this is a real this is a real eye-opener for me to actually read and enjoy my own work so I bounce the camera there uh, number 11 is other writing projects. Write on the week, especially on the weekdays daily. Uh, get up at 7.30 for at least, uh, I've got at least two sessions a day. I think it's going to be more realistic to say get one solid long session in. And then I just seem to be doing editing for my second session. But uh, it's two sessions. That's two sessions. Is Writing, editing, I consider is the same thing. Um, I'm going to read out mostly, uh, like, uh, if I get a draft pretty polished, I'm going to try and make a point of reading them out loud um, and then probably putting them as private videos on this channel because I don't want to see any, have anything of that. Publish uh, on Literotica at least two stories in uh, April. Yeah, two stories. Two stories in April at least. I think I can do that. Um, I'm thinking about a, just a kind of a larger project, something that is like a novella size where I can publish chapters individually on Ellie. I think I, what I should do is I should plan something where I kind of break it down as like 10, five or 10 chapters. I'm gonna have to think about that. It's like 10 shorter chapters or five longer chapters probably ends up as, as the same thing that uh, I could, I could publish as a kind of a longer, a longer work. That might be a thought. I mean, I'm going to have to, the duffel puffs would be a, freaking gigantic work if i uh if i do edit it and stuff like that like well, what am i going to do with it i there might be something that i would just then put on um on le yeah i'll have to think about that number 12 is daily journal keeping uh working on a vignette subject for each day try try and get really tired at the end of the day and uh a lot of times it's very it's been very much a grind it feels like especially lately but Maybe that's just the time I'm doing it. Maybe if I did writing in the morning, it would be, oh, if I did writing in the morning, then I wouldn't get my other writing done. That's why I do it at night. I, if, I, if I did that in the morning, I would end up doing long journal at, at things in the morning and I wouldn't get any actual my, my story writing done, which I do enjoy doing. Uh, number 13 is reading on the weekend. First thing in the morning, two hours uh, for the each day, an R mark on the calendar. Ugh, I'm kind of, I got, a, I got, a, I got like an hour in later today which was good but um today i slept in which was also a good thing to do I, I needed to sleep that was definitely it uh number 14 is outside gardening tasks there is a bar bean garden teepee there is ordering soil for the um kind of the growing the raised bed that we've made uh garden fencing which i think is to try and keep the dogs out we'll have to work on that uh, there's Jackie's, Jackie's list of various things. One of those is the bean garden TP, uh, and, uh, mowing the lawn just is a weekly, weekly thing. Though if it rains all weekend, I guess I, I'll, I'll just do that during the week at some point. Uh, number 15 is water daily, uh, for indoor herb garden is water daily, um, or whenever, not daily, but check daily of when stuff needs to get watered. Transplant to larger transplant to either larger pots or to outside which we might be getting into that season though it's kind of cold today buy a second grow light which in the space of the time that i did that oh in the space of the time i bought my second grow light which is what this thing is back here so once i get two grow lights going there i'm probably really going to have to turn it off when i'm filming or else i'm just going to have that washed out thing uh which is which then leads on to clearing out uh, that corner that corner there in the office to put the grow light to grow grow more herbs which herbs not American herbs yes number sixteen is vocal improvement uh, no ums video weekly which I'm not going to get a chance to do today but I will kick it on again till monday it's supposed to get done on saturday but it did not i got an april's goal video done then instead which was i what did the april goals prep video then <laughs> everything gets kicked along but it's like it's like i'm getting it done i'm getting it done i'm getting this goals video done which is good uh working on rodenberg's need for words that's the, the other well no i did that i that the no one's video will be a bit more of a report on rodenberg's um my process with rodenberg uh for the need for words 
um, doing an anxiety video, which I have set for next weekend of doing anxiety check-in, check-in video. Yeah, yeah, that might have some rich topics to it. Uh, number, um, doing my vocal exercises daily, which I've definitely been doing. Do a vocal exercise vid where I tape myself doing vocal exercises, and I've got that for the 17th. I actually should put on that, I'm going to put on that uh, mixed day, because I am thinking about looking at one of his videos and perhaps incorporating a different set of warm-ups uh, from the two that I have now, which is the tongue twisters and the articulation articulation exercises, uh, the kind of more vocal muscle, face, facial muscles, other muscles too, but yeah, doing, doing that. So I've got that down for the 17th. Um, number 17, uh, check in on the 2023 theme video. So I should maybe read those, read those, read those today. And then on the 16th, do a check-in video about my, my themes for the year. Cause I think I need to keep on, take conscious pause of that to, uh, this is what I want to get done. This is why I want to get done all the stuff I'm doing daily. Have that higher goal there because that, that helps. That helps kind of support me and stuff like that. Uh, number 18 is supporting and checking with Ja on what her to-do list is. Um, she's got stuff that she wants to get done. There's also kind of uh, house stuff like, okay, let's get a little bit of cleaning done each day. I'm going to count as, 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 as trimming and washing the doodle today as my my big to-do task. They were definitely, they were getting a little overgrown. So I'm really glad we got that done. All right. That is, that is my 18 goals, 18 listed subjects, at least for goals that have many sub, sub clauses in there for April. And my next goal will be to go and make dinner. All right. So much to do. And I, you know, I doing the, the doing the wrap up of the, of March is like, okay, I, I got a good, I got a good dunk, hunk done. I, I keep on getting a good hunk done each thing. And this is on top of also have a job, full-time job, do that reasonably competently every month as competently as I am, as, as I, as I am able to do. All right. I've been Jay, more videos and more goals and more la 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 later.